So my name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training and in this video you'll learn how to get to sleep and how to get better sleep in your life more generally. So I sleep like a baby pretty much every night but it wasn't always that way. So these are things that I've really tried and tested myself uh, that work for me and some others I've heard a lot from clients. Um, this comes a lot in, up in stress workshops for example that I do. There's really two levels of solution presented here. The short term, how do you get to sleep in the moment and the longer term, how do you make sure you get better sleep in your life. So the first thing in the short term, if you're, if you're in bed and you can't get to sleep, uh, trying to get to sleep is a mistake here. So because um, sleep is about letting go rather than trying, I, I sort of trick myself if I have this. So I just say I'm resting. You know, I focus on my body, relax, my breathing, maybe some muscular relaxation. And, um, you know, that I just say, well, I'm resting. And then sooner or later I drift off. Having a cool, dark room, of course, really helps. Uh, the physical environment for a lot of people has too much light in. Um, you can also use your body to make an out-breath, like a ah, really long focused out-breath where you, ah, you're getting into a hot bath. If I do that even a few more times, I'll start to feel sleepy. Of course, these mild sedatives like warm milk or chamomile tea, uh, taking a warm bath, uh, and making sure you're not stimulating yourself with uh, electronic stimulants like going on the internet, for example, or, or watching TV. Sometimes it can be helpful just to get up and potter around the house and do a few simple physical things just to get a break and, and to get moving and, and then go back, go back to bed again. Okay, what about more medium to long term? Uh, well, the biggest one is cutting down on caffeine, not having any caffeine within six to eight hours before going to bed, cutting down your alcohol intake in your life. People can get into a vicious cycle with using alcohol to sleep and nicotine, which is, of course, a stimulant. The other one is using bed just for sleeping and making love if you have a partner. So um, you're not watching TV in bed, even reading in bed, definitely not bringing phones and iPads, ban those from the bedroom. Third one, uh, exercise every day. So get some exercise until you sweat, preferably if not some light exercise every day. Your body needs to burn off some energy to sleep. Yeah? Um, working with clients that have sleep issues, those three work for 90% of people. 90% of people, if they cut down their caffeine, they exercise a little bit, and they keep good hygiene around you know, their, their electronic devices, that, that means they can sleep well. Talked about light levels, uh, that actually means getting high light levels in the day, so going outside for example, then gradually dimming the light levels at night, so dimming lights, having candles and lamps rather than the main lights on, not looking at screens that have, have light, uh, and then having a really dark bedroom, like it's worth investing in some, some blackout curtains. Of course, having a comfy bed, you spend a third of your life there, you might as well have a nice comfy bed. A lot of people like to have a bedtime routine, so they're kind of classically conditioning themselves, like winding down, a uh, routine they do, and the same time every day can really work for a lot of people. Just that way your body clock knows it's time to sleep. And mentally, a lot of people have ideas running around their head, so it can be a good idea to get those out of your head in the evening, so journaling or um, sending yourself an email reminder a few hours before you go to bed, so you're actually getting those things out of your head, so you don't have to keep thinking of them, because you know they're in some sort of reliable reminder system. So there's my top tips on sleep. They won't work for everyone, but those ones will work for most people, in my experience. Yeah, if you're interested in our stress workshops or anger management workshops, then get in touch, and please subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this.